just very shortly tell us about uh, who you are and a few sentences about your campaign. Yes, I'm Agnes Karmark and uh, I go to school in Stockholm uh, to Anna Flux High School and we are served vegetarian food and I thought this was so great. So me and a few other students, we decided to create a campaign to encourage, to encourage other schools to also serve only vegetarian food. You can look at me. Um, why is this campaign important to you? It is so important to me because it is obvious um, that uh, we're told in school books and in lectures that red meat has a bad effect on the climate. So we should be given the same message in our school cafeteria. So why do you think this is not done? Um, it is, we're stuck in our normal patterns. We are uh, used to serving meat, so we continue doing it. But it's simple to just uh, switch. Uh, if you can dream, what are your highest hopes and dreams for this campaign? I hope to get so many youths um, encouraged uh, and involved in this question because they do care, the youth care so much and uh, uh, by creating campaigns they can show that to the world. Uh, what do you think about this way to, to try to influence people in power to actually do something? I think it's a great way uh, to create campaigns because it, uh, it makes it possible for everyone to have a voice and uh, you don't have to be many people. You can be one person who creates a campaign and then other people tag along. I think it's a great way. So if anyone out there has uh, an idea that they want to start a climate campaign, mm -hmm. what are your tips for them? Just do it. It's so easy. Something they need to think about? Um, uh, be confident in yourself because mm -hmm. <laughs> people will listen if you're confident.